Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. Well, <laughs> over the week, right before my birthday, uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel, came out. And I have to say, honestly, this is probably my favorite of the series of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Because he just goes through so many trials and tribulations, and... Um, <laughs> convincing this girl that he likes to go to the Valentine's dance with him. And he equivocates that to the middle school version of the senior prom, which actually it is. I never really thought of it that way, but Greg Hefley is very, <laughs> very observant for a child his age. And I love the beginning of it when he's talking about his birth and how he wants to recreate that atmosphere for himself. And I wonder how many of us have actually done that. Um, I think <laughs> even at my age, I, I tried to recreate the uterine atmosphere just by sleeping in a fetal position. It, it only works until you wake up. And then you realize, oh, I'm awake. Darn. But... <laughs> This is a really great book, and I hope that Mr. Kinney continues writing them because I've been enjoying them thoroughly. And, of course, the artwork is as you would expect. And I'm not sure what they're going to do with the, the movies because they're only up to Dog Days. And I think Dog Days is the third book. And um, I'm going to do a quick look here. Okay, there's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, Last Straw. Why did they not do the Last Straw? I guess they didn't. I guess they combined Last Straw and Dog Days. Um, if they're going to do the rest of the movies, they would have to do Ugly Truth and Cabin Fever together, which would be really strange. Um, unless they're skipping ugly truth and going straight into cabin fever which would make a great Christmas film um, because it's mostly about Christmas and um, I'd actually like to see the third wheel done though I don't know if it ever will be because the the actors that are playing the parts are just becoming older and older that's basically my two cents worth on that uh, it's just like the Harry Potter series you know they, they got <laughs> old very quickly and you know even as a Harry Potter fan I, I found it kind of hard to believe but they, they still did a good job with, with makeup and everything so that made up for it and they can do anything with makeup so I'm thinking with the makeup department it'll be legitimate but this book was the best of all of them and you can read it in a day it's a, it's a, just a breezy read and so funny and you just feel for Greg you just I <laughs> sympathize with him on so many different levels, and I thought, oh, man, Greg, I feel for you, dude. But it was just terrific, and I think that children and adults will enjoy the series if, if they've been Whippy Kid fans and have decided to keep reading with the series and keeping up with it. This, I think, is the pinnacle of his work thus far, and it seems like every page he just has comedy gold right from the beginning which is very difficult to do particularly if you're writing comedy or comedic works and I'd have to say that out of all of them I give it two thumbs and of course five stars because I think it is the the zenith of his achievements thus far and I'm excited to see what he'll do in the future I'm hoping that he'll write some more Wimpy Kid books and uh, I was thinking Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if it was Diary of a Wimpy Adult? <laughs> I don't know if I would ever go that far. It probably wouldn't sell so well, but I think there are some of us who would love to see that happen, but mm, doubtful. But anyway, this was a great birthday present for me. A late birthday present, but, you know, still I'm expanding it a little bit. So it, it was... Uh, really terrific and just fantastic and I can't say anything more than I thoroughly enjoyed it and I highly recommend it to those of you out there who have been following the series because you'll just devour it because <laughs> I know I did. <laughs>